Well, Spanglish is the marriage or the divorce of two languages, Spanish and English, but it is also something larger. It could be understood as the encounter between two civilizations that are coming together and producing something altogether new, emerging culture that is known as Latino culture in the United States, and Spanglish is its main uh, manifestation. It is spoken by millions of people in the United States uh, predominantly, but also in other parts of the world. Um, Spanglish is a very controversial topic uh, because the purists in either side of the spectrum, Spanish or English, view it as a uh, challenging. Uh, I've been fascinated by it. I have uh, studied it, created a dictionary, and I have also um, translated uh, Don Quixote, now the entire book, in the very first a chapter is the one that was published a few years ago. It starts something like, In un placete de la mancha, of which nombre no quiero remembrarme, vivía not so long ago a caballero, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so it is um, the very beginning of the most important work in Hispanic civilization, and uh, now we have it in Spanglish, meaning we have it in this new culture. I would say that uh, obviously English is the predominant language, Spanish, not Spanglish. Spanish is uh, the second predominant language. It is no longer a foreign language, it is a native language spoken also by uh, many, many people in Spanglish is the third, or maybe it's competing with Spanish as the second one. It is spoken by Latinos of all backgrounds, uh, Puerto Ricans, uh, Mexicans, Dominicans, Colombians, Cubans. Every single group, every national tradition speaks a different type of Spanglish. There is Cubonics spoken by Cuban Americans, Dominicanish, spoken by Dominican Americans, there's New Yorican, there's Chicano Spanglish, uh, and so the, the term Spanglish is a kind of neutral, uh, standardized way of relating all these different traditions. It's a very important uh, hybrid uh, language that enables this minority, made of uh, more than 60 million people, to feel that it has its own identity. I have been really almost hypnotized by my encounter with young people here. Uh, most often when I travel around the world, I speak with adults, uh, academics, uh, people involved in diplomacy, uh, professionals of different kinds, and with students, but with students that are at the graduate level or undergraduate level, mainly in uh, the established institutions, universities. And on this occasion, I have uh, had the opportunity to go and speak to uh, people from high school and uh, that are not in the city, that are not exclusively in downtown. Uh, I went to the outskirts, so to speak, and spoke with uh, students that are of immigrant background. And I was mesmerized because I could see the relationship between Latinos in the United States, meaning coming from immigrant groups, uh, from uh, different ethnic backgrounds, and here something similar, people coming from uh, either other countries or other places in Spain uh, arriving to Madrid or Barcelona, the two cities where I've been. It's been really extraordinary.